Walt Disney World for the holidays, I have to admit, it's one of my favorite times of year. And I like Halloween a lot at Disney, I do, but something about the holidays and Christmas at Disney, there's something super special about it. Today we're actually going over everything that you can find that's special for the holidays all around the Walt Disney World Resort. Let's start with those parks first. Let's head over to the Magic Kingdom where we're going to find for the very first time ever Disney's After Hours Very Merriest Celebration. This very special After Hours event will be unlike the Boo Bash you'll have the opportunity to experience the park and go to your favorite attractions but there's even more. Now, unlike the Boo Bash, there is going to be a parade coming down Main Street USA. And I know what you're thinking, Michael, wait a second, we had some stuff coming down Main Street during the night, cavalcades. That's true, but this one is supposed to be, and we'll find out together, a longer parade. So it's supposed to be many floats, not just one or two, going by together, kind of celebrating, dancing together. We're hoping to get back to that parade feel. I know a lot of guests, including myself, are really looking forward to this. Tough to say if it's actually going to be much longer than the cavalcades, but hopefully a little bit longer. In addition, we're getting Mickey and Minnie's Very Merry Memories, which is going to be on the castle stage and feature some of our favorite characters. We'll see the Fab Five and even Chip and Dale. It's going to be great to see them all on the stage celebrating together, singing songs for the holidays, and really making us feel that holiday cheer. Again, unlike the Boo Bash After Hours event that we've seen before. Now, After Hours usually is mostly about the rides, but I think Disney is trying to transition this into a party with after hours, right? So they, you know, it's, it's kind of this weird in between that we're getting between parties and after hours. It's a four hour event at the Magic Kingdom, varying in price from $179 up to $250. Starts November 8th and goes all the way through December 21st. Not all the way through Christmas. We'll have other celebrations, I'm sure, at that point. But you can catch Mickey and friends prior to Christmas Day in the Magic Kingdom with this event. This very special holiday after hours only has three dates sold out at the time of this recording. That's a little different than what we saw with the Boo Bash after hours event. That one sold out super fast. And it makes me wonder, this is, this is a really big question, are guests getting tired of the after hours events and just kind of want to get back to the parties? I personally would like to get back to the parties, personally. But I don't know if they're ever coming back or when they'll come back. I thought for a while that this was just going to be a temporary thing. But now that we see it for the holidays, I think the after hours version of these parties are here to stay. Now, annual pass holders and DVC members can get a $10 discount on most days in November for this very special after hours event. In addition to the rides and parade and very special stage show, of course, you'll have the opportunity to do the other after hours things. After hours is meant for attractions. So a lot of attractions that you know and love will be available with super short wait times. Is it going to be worth it? I will let you know when we try it. Now, Disney has made it known that there are going to be some savory treats that we're going to have the opportunity to try together. My guess is it's going to be very similar to the Boo Bash After Hours event where popcorn, some ice cream, sodas, waters, that will be included with your pass and your special ticket. However, there will be specialty items that are available for an additional purchase. As much as I like the sweet treats, I really do, especially that very special coffee slush that you can get from Outpost inside of the Boo Bash. You have to be at the Boo Bash to get this very special slush. I really hope that a lot of the ones like the specialty Dole Whips only available for the holidays are available if you're not going to the party as well. That's my hope, crossing my fingers. Tough to know though, because Disney does like to kind of save those for those who have bought tickets to go to these events. Let's not forget PhotoPass as well, exclusive photos all around the Magic Kingdom during this very special After Hours event. Now moving on over to Epcot, the International Festival of the Holidays begins November 26, 2021, offering a lot of the things that we have known, love at the very special festival, actually one of the shortest at Epcot, but they also have a very special cookie for the cookie stroll this year. Of course, celebrating 50 years of magic, they had to put that right on the cookie. It looks good. Let's see how it tastes once we try it. At Hollywood Studios, they are doing some special things for the holiday season, including that very special sunset greeting, which I am a huge fan of, projected on the Tower of Terror. Now, this greeting was available in past years, and during that time, there were laser effects in the sky, snow coming down. I would love to see that return. I do not know if that's going to be the case, because we saw for the 50th anniversary, there really wasn't much there. There was no show. It was just like, a up, oh, it's lit up, and that's the end. I hope it's the show. It sounds like it's the show. Snow coming down, lasers, show. 
Fingers crossed. Minnie's Holiday Dine at Hollywood and Vine also returns at Hollywood Studios. Very special outfits on those characters. You can dine with them right by the entrance of Hollywood Studios. In addition, the Santa Claus motorcade is going to make his way around Hollywood Studios like we see with the Pixar characters and other characters throughout the day like Mickey and Friends. Always fun. We're going to see Santa and Friends. Always love them, especially those elves holding those presents. It's a ton of fun. Now at the first time in forever sing-along celebration, there is going to be a very special Olaf finale apparently, which is going to be great. We'll see Olaf. They'll be joking around together. If you haven't been in a while, it is great for kids, but also for adults. There are some jokes that they tell that go right over the kids' heads, but we laugh. It, it's funny. Over at Animal Kingdom, as you walk into the park, one of my new favorites is the Merry Merengue, where you see some very special winter characters come out and greet you, whether it's a polar bear or some penguins. It's really cool. You see, they're actually characters that the Imagineers have constructed, and there are cast members who are kind of bringing them to life. It is super cool. You can kind of go up, take a picture with them. In the past, we could almost like pet them. It was cool. It really is, and it enhances the experience as you walk in. In addition, there are some special flotillas that'll be going around the water around Animal Kingdom. If you hear music, go ahead, look to the water. You'll probably see Santa or maybe Donald Duck. You never know who you'll spot moving their way around. And of course, the drummers couldn't be without those drummers. At night, the Tree of Life is going to have the Awakening show. They have it throughout the year. However, the holiday overlay joins it during this time of year, and you see some really special kind of stories that come to life on the tree, whether it's the fox or the polar bear. It's a lot of fun to stay and watch that. It's a continuous show, so you can kind of stop by, take a look, continue on to what you're doing, and then stop by again later and maybe see a different part of the show. At Disney Springs, the Christmas tree. Tree Stroll is returning. It's one of my favorites. You walk around, you see these amazingly decorated trees all around Disney Springs. Usually they have like a trail where you can walk down, like kind of right by where the parking area used to be. But in you know past years, we've seen them scattered all around Disney Springs. Both are fine. I'm happy with both, but it's fun. You get a little map, you get a little stickers, there are discounts at different stores. It's just, it adds to the holiday cheer so much. And usually, and they confirmed it this year, there's snow coming down in certain areas. Now, where will it be in New New areas this time. We've seen some interesting projectors go up all around Disney Springs already. We'll see what happens with that snow. In addition, at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, there's a small overlay that happens with the holidays. It's subtle, but if you manage to catch it, it adds to that holiday spirit. There's going to be a lot of things happening all around Walt Disney World, but one of my favorite things to do is experience the resorts all around Disney for the holidays. They all have something really unique going on. Whether it's a colossal tree right in the center of Wilderness Lodge or a gingerbread carousel at the Yacht and Beach Club, there is some amazing holiday things to see, experience, eat, and just be a part of at the resorts at Walt Disney World. If you're looking to prioritize those resorts and really try them, but you don't want it to really interrupt your day, I've got a plan for you. On your Magic Kingdom day, take the monorail around, try those three resorts, the Contemporary, the Polynesian, and the Grand Floridian. You'll see some amazing holiday experiences. And then on your Epcot day, head on over to the Yacht and Beach Club, see what they have going on, and then if you have time, head on over to the boardwalk to see their super large tree on the lawn. If you only make it to those resorts, you have hit some of the prime ones. So don't worry if you don't make it to things like Riverside or the Riviera, Caribbean Beach. Some of those are fantastic as well. They really are. But if you're getting to the beach, yacht, contemporary, grand, Polynesian, you're seeing kind of the, the highlights of the amazing things that they do at the resorts for the holidays. Now, during the most magical time of year, one enhancement that I like to make when I'm in the parks is to wear a very special hat or, you know, light up necklace or special shirt or even sweater that kind of celebrates the holidays. It looks really good in pictures and you'd be surprised how cold it can get. I guess this is speaking as a Floridian, but as cold, it gets cold. It's like, hmm, 50s. I know what you're thinking. Oh, if you're from the Northeast, you're the Michael, 50s, come on. It can get cooler. It feels cooler. It's not as much like wind going by. It, Trust me, bring a sweatshirt, bring a sweater, maybe even a jacket during some months. You'll be glad you have it. I just keep thinking back. I used to be the guy that would like shovel snow and like a very light jacket, like not even like a heavy jacket, shoveling snow. And my, once you move to Florida, it's like, no, no, 85 is good, 72 is getting cold. You know what I mean? That's how it is. So be pack, pack accordingly, depending on where you live, pack accordingly. It gets into the 50s. 40s and occasionally can get to the 30s. Don't let it surprise you though, because I've I've been surprised in the 30s before, and then you see me with like layer after layer after it's it's I'm more prepared this year. I'm more prepared. The holidays are going to be spectacular this year. Let me know what you are most excited about for the holiday season in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.